welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk trash let's talk some trash shall we and when I mean trash I'm talking about some of the stuff that I've used up in the last month or so uh, basically my empty products things that I've used up things that I may use again things that I may not use again stuff that I absolutely love stuff that I hate I don't know let's get started on trash let's talk some trash shall we by the way got this mug absolutely love this this mug it is one of the, it's called um green steel beast amazon absolutely love it it's in my link below under probably like house and home i don't even know but anyway love this thing it keeps everything so cold i drink lemon water like every single day and i carry this with me and it fits so perfectly in my car so it might be like on my um, amazon favorites list that i plan on doing a video on very very soon so enough of the jabbering let's get started let's talk some trash okay so here's my bin this is where I keep all of my empty things that I use up um, at the end of the month. When everything's empty, I just throw it in here. So let's go ahead and get started on a few of the things. Um, we talked about my Tide stuff before. You guys know that I use Tide Pods for our laundry. I just pop them inside a little container that I leave on top of my washing machine. And I just pull them out as needed. So I just kind of buy these refillable ones and just stick them in there. It just makes life a little bit more easier and convenient than these aren't all over the place like i said i just kind of keep that little plastic thing on top of my washing machine and it's like so easy to just grab one and go same thing with the little um like the pods not the tide pods but the uh like fabric softener that i keep in there too like the little pellets i don't know if i have one empty in here but i might anyway um same thing with the cascade i always use this cascade for my dish washer in my kitchen i always buy the refillable things there's a thing that hangs on my door in the kitchen by my sink i just kind of open that up pop one of those out and throw it in the dishwasher and it just makes it like i said easier and convenient than just having these laying around everywhere but i always like the way cascade works i think it's because my mom always used cascade and just kind of like I use Cascade. All right, so the next thing that I finished up is my Caldrea Ginger Pomelo Ginger blah, 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 Dish Soap. This stuff, this is from Grove Collab. And um, you guys know how much I really, really love me some Grove Collab. This stuff is amazing. It smells so good. I think I have like four more bottles of these. So I think I'm going to like lay off on ordering some stuff from Grove for a while because I've got quite a collection and I can't use it all up, you know, um, so quickly. So I did give some to my mom, I don't know, last time I was there or whatever. And I think she really liked it too, but um, love this stuff. It smells amazing. If you guys want to try some new like dish soap, seriously, try this from Grove Collab. I do have a link below and I think you get like $10 off your first order or something like that. But anyway, there is a link below um, for Grove Collab if you guys are interested in that as well. Something to give a try because it's really great. Alrighty, um, the next thing that, this is in no particular order either, by the way. I'm just kind of grabbing things out of this bin as we go. Alrighty, so uh, the next thing that I, I used up was my Summer's Eve Naturally Warm Cleansing Wash for your, you know, the JJ area for your delicate areas and I just like to have like an extra like wash down there um, I don't use like a harsh soap or anything like that in that area I just I use this and this is what I use and I have one with me while I travel I actually just got picked up a new scent so I think it's the peachy one that I have now love this stuff though it's really great and it's just kind of refreshing especially in the summertime because sometimes sometimes I wish I had like an extra bottle of that stuff so I can hand it over to some people that need it but whatever um okay so the next thing that i used up which i absolutely love this stuff and i have said that i am no longer going to be buying any uh shower gels from bath and body works and i actually stuck to that because the other day i was at bath and body works for their semi-annual sale and i have a haul shameless plug up here if you want to watch it um but I said to myself and my friend Jana who was with me, I said, I'm not buying any body wash from here because I am stuck on Soap and Glory. This has been like the best body wash I have ever used. I love the way that this stuff smells. It just smells so like, is, is it, should, I, should I say like rich? Not like as in like... Not like is in like a taste rich, but like, you know, wealthy rich. You know, it just kind of, it just has a nice like 
wealthy sense. Does that make any sense? If there's like any like, does wealth have sense? I don't know. But anyway, no, it's just nice. It's just nice. I love it. It just smells so good. So I do have another one that I'm going to use. Now I do have a confession. I did buy an Aveeno body wash the other day because I'm actually wanting to give that one a try just to see how well I like it. So this one's now finished. So I'm going to go switching over to my Aveeno one. And then um, obviously when that one's finished, I'll let you guys know how that one is. But I do have one of these stashed in my drawer. I mean, in my cabinet, in my bathroom for the next time that I want to use that. I have like a hair stuck on me. It's like, come on. All right. Water time. All right. So I did use up quite a bit of like shampoo because I don't know, for some reason I'll have like shampoo and I'll have like half of it and then I'll like decide not to use the rest of it and then I'll like switch it to a different color or a different like scent or something. But I'm still really stuck on my herbal essence stuff. I'm just trying to get all of those out so I know that I have all of them. Okay. So all of the herbal essences, this is the one that I finished up. I think one of the, I think one of these was with me in my travel bag and that was why one of them is finished up. So this is the, both of these are conditioner. I'm having a time here. Oh my God, they're collapsing. They're falling over. Okay, so both of these are conditioners. So, which tells me that one was in my shower, one was in my travel bag. So I finished up both of the conditioners. I finished conditioner quicker than I do shampoo. You guys do the same thing? I don't know. Um, okay, so this is the uh, Blue Ginger by Herbal Essence, the conditioner. Amazing. I love the Herbal Essence uh, line. Any of their scents are amazing. Right now, I'm using like the grapefruit one. So good. Love it. So both of these were the conditioners. Used, excuse me, used those up. And then I finished up the uh, Herbal Essence again. This was the uh, Rose Hips um, Shampoo and Conditioner. Again, love this stuff. Another confession. So the other day when I bought my Aveeno body wash, I also bought an Aveeno shampoo and conditioner. Not a fan. It It is does not leave my hair after I've washed it soft. Um, it didn't style very well. It was just, ugh, it just wasn't great. So that is probably something that I'd like, I wouldn't use again. Um, I'll probably try to finish it up. If not, Brian will finish it. Cause I'm just like, ugh, not having it. So this morning I went back to my herbal essence because I cannot, cannot go wrong with my herbal essence. It just smells so good. Alrighty. So, um, again, a couple of these were for my travel. Woo, I am popular. Um, a couple of these were for my travel bag. I'm just going to try to get some of these out. Ooh, there's a mess down here. Ooh. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I'm going to have to rinse this out. Um, okay. This one is probably what was leaking. This, I have lots of stickies. Ooh, gross. Oh, I think I know what it is. It was the oil. I knew it. See, that's why I always put those things in a bag. And I didn't. So this was one of my wallflowers that I used up. And I didn't put it in a bag. And it like leaked all over the place. So that's why I always put them in a plastic bag. So net, note to self, keep putting them in a plastic bag. All right, continuing on. All righty, so... These two things um, were from, one is from my travel bag, one is from my bedroom. Um, this is the L'Oreal Blow Dry It Smoother Spray. You guys, swear by this stuff. This stuff is amazing. I just put like a, a quarter size in my hand when my hair is wet, right after I comb it out, put it in my hair and just like, it's amazing. It's so good. Love this stuff. Um, I finished up the one in my bedroom, one in my travel bag. Um, both have been replenished since then, so we are good to go. Another thing that was in my travel bag that I finished up that I use every single day as soon as right before I get out of the shower is my Johnson's baby oil. You guys, again, love this stuff. I don't struggle with... Um, uh, dry skin. I think it's because of the baby oil. So like right before I get out of the shower, I just squirt this all over me. It beads up and then I just dry off with a towel and it just kind of keeps my skin moisturized. It keeps um, it uh, ref like refreshed or I don't know, more moisturized, I guess you could say. Plus, I also put baby lotion on afterwards as well, after I'm done drying off. So both of these I used up. One was from my travel bag. One was from my bedroom. 
Alrighty, uh, the other like dish soap that I used up, I kind of like, like I said, I switched off, so I go back and forth. This was the Peony scent. I'm, I don't recall like being a huge fan of it. It wasn't like the greatest, like it's not this. This stuff is the best. Um, so I, pr I probably won't get Peony anymore. I know a lot of people swear by the Peony scent, but I just wasn't like, it wasn't like, oh, yeah, that's great. No, it wasn't. I was like, eh, it's okay. It's not bad. And even in the bottle, it's just like, meh. That other stuff, though, amazing. So I love that. Um, all right, two other things. Travel bag in my bedroom. Uh, this was the L'Oreal Blow Dry Quick Dry quick primer spray now this is the stuff that i will spray on my hair as i'm blow drying it so i'll section my hair off i'll have a section hanging down and i'll spray this stuff and it's amazing i i love the way that this stuff works i've been using this now i don't know two three years and i swear by it it is so good and literally it does fly off the shelf so whenever i see it i just grab this and the um thermal um, cream that I just showed you I always grab one of those so I actually have extra in my bathroom because the stuff is amazing I absolutely love it I swear by it it does so good with my hair my hair loves it so I love this stuff so definitely definitely something that I always repurchase I don't think I had anything in here that I like didn't like I thought I did but I guess I didn't okay um, the Aveeno uh, Positively Smooth Shave Gel. Love this stuff. Now, I used to use something else and that I switched to this and um, really found that this stuff really does keep my legs a lot smoother for a lot longer as well. And I just like the way that it um, it smells it, and like I like the way that it leaves my legs. So, all right. So, there we go with that. And then I have uh, two of these, which is my probiotic. I finished these. Um, I think probably like one one was from one month and the other one was from it's like two months because it's only a month supply. You only get 30 in here. Uh, right? What does it say? 30, yeah. 30, 30? Yeah, 30. 30. <laughs> right down here. Okay, so you guys, I told you guys about this stuff before. Uh, this is like one of the things that I talk about in every one of my empties videos. And this is my probiotic that I have. I suffer from IBS. Um, it was so bad. It was so bad to the point that if I ate anything, I would literally have to come straight home. Couldn't go anywhere. Sometimes I wouldn't even be able to leave the restaurant because I'd be so sick. I'd have to go to the bathroom. So when I tried the probiotic, I was like, this stuff is amazing. It is life changing for me. It has been life changing for me. Um, I take one every single morning with my breakfast and, and I will say it's not like 99.99999% like proof that it, that it works or that it's good, that it works. But, um, I, instead of going almost on a daily basis, being sick after I eat something, I can go weeks without being sick after eating something. So that in itself, it's amazing. Now it is a bit pricey. You can find it. And now I have found it anywhere between the price of 18 and $25. And that just depends on where you go. You can get it at Walgreens, Target, Walmart, Kroger, Publix. You can get it anywhere. But again, it just depends on the price and, um, if you're willing to pay that price. So I, again, I just try to grab it whenever I see it on sale or whenever I see it at its lowest price. I always grab it. I always grab an extra one. That way I have it. I travel with this stuff. It's been amazing. It's been definitely a life changer for me and I'm so, so thankful for it. Alrighty. Almost done. So, um, you know, a lot of people don't share the toothpaste. I do. I like sharing my toothpaste with you guys. My hands are all oily from that stuff. Um, Okay, so Tom's. When did I try Tom's? A year ago, two years ago, I think I got it in one of my FabFitFun boxes or in my Walmart box or something like that. And when I tried it, I'm like, this toothpaste is amazing. I absolutely love this toothpaste and immediately switched. As soon as we were finished with what we were using, we were using Colgate, we used Crest. Love this stuff. I will go back for this stuff all the time so now this is all we use is tom's and i absolutely love the way that this wor works on my teeth and i have um i've always wanted to have like the brightest whitest teeth 
Um, and I just always felt like Colgate or Crush just didn't do it, even though it said it's whitening and you always buy the whitening stuff and then you can buy special whitening stuff. It just never seemed to work. Now this stuff, very, very good. I have noticed a huge difference in the color of my teeth and I'm not like a heavy soda drinker. I don't drink coffee, so my teeth should not be stained. So I was just kind of like, I need to get these white. So Tom's was it. Love me some Tom's. All right. Um, this was something that I, I picked up in a little, I don't know, man, where did I get this at? Like a little baby gift thing or whatever. Cause I think I was, I needed some wipes at one point and just, it just kind of came with a small little package. So this was the Johnson's hand and face wipes. And I kept it here in my room and I just kept it in the drawer and I just kind of grabbed one every single time I needed to either, you know, wipe off a brush or wipe off my eyeliner um, applicator. And I just kind of grabbed one of these and it was fine. So I finished those up. Like, I, you know, they're not something that I would use to take off my makeup or anything like that, but they are good for wiping down your hands, wiping down my little tables here or cleaning my little um, brush if I needed it to be wiped off. Now I see a little spot on my table here and that kind of makes me mad. Alrighty, so I have little spots of that oil from those wallflowers like all over my table now and it kind of like makes me mad so I had to like wipe it up. Okay, so only three more things left and then I'm done. Alrighty, so I finished up two of my mascaras. Um, you guys, you guys know if you guys have watched me for a while, um, you guys know how much I love my Maybelline Great Lash. Love this mascara. I've been using this mascara probably since high school and I know that's like a long time ago. <laughs> Yeah, long time ago. Um, <laughs> so, but I love this mascara. And recently I've been trying um, and venturing out and trying new makeup and new mascaras. And I actually just did a video, um, another shameless plug right up here. I just did a like full face um, new trying on new makeup, which is like the Milani. And I actually used the Milani mascara, um, which is on my face right now. Uh, in that video and I kind of talked a little bit about that mascara but I also made sure that I talked about this as well because this has been my like go-to mascara absolutely love it so I finished that one up oops dropped it and then uh the next mascara again because I was trying and sampling and I think maybe this one may have come in a box or something or I may have just bought it myself but um this is the flamed out mascara and who is this by cover girl so this is a flamed out I, and i i think that i liked it i think i liked that it um i added it along with my maybelline so like i would put the maybelline on first and then i would put this on just to kind of like help it fan out a little bit more and lift and separate because i really like the whole like lift and separate thing when it comes to like mascara but you can see how the brushes like now the brush in the maybelline is kind of like a curved brush this one is more like a straight brush but it's kind of like fat at this end fat at this end and like really narrow in the center um so that kind of like helps with fanning out your your eyelashes i found anyway um would i probably buy it again no uh i think the formula for me was a little bit dry and i like and i like a, a a wetter formula if that makes any sense so something that has a little more wetness to it because it kind of just goes on a little bit better i feel um and then the last thing that i finished up was my eyeshadow primer by urban decay again um in my video with the full face um makeup trying new makeup or whatever i talked about this too briefly because i tried a new eye primer um with the whole milani uh makeup line and um I still kind of, I still swear by the Urban Decay. Not that the Milani one was bad or anything like that, because it's still, it, my eyeshadow stayed on, it didn't flake, it didn't crease or anything like that, but I don't know, there's just something about Urban Decay that I absolutely love, and something is like getting me in my back. Ugh. All right, Urban Decay, absolutely love it. It is about 24, $22, I think, at Ulta, but it's definitely worth it, and it lasts for a very, very long time. So, I mean, I think I go through two of these a year because they last for a very long time. Um, but anyway, yeah. So, all right, guys. So, that is it for my trash talking so if you guys enjoyed this video give it a huge thumbs up uh let me know if you guys enjoy talking trash with me and um i will see you guys in my next trash video <laughs>